Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to part 5 of my video series about setting up my planning system for 2023. In some of my Plan With Me videos, I know I have shown this little disc-bound supplemental binder where I keep a few stuff that I need when planning. But I also have in here some stuff that I actually don't need and I have not been good at keeping this binder organized and up to date. The covers are just a sheet of tracing paper that I printed this image on and I've had this laminated at a print shop using 250 microns. And inside I have some old dividers and inserts that I should have archived properly but did not. But what I really need every day that's in here are these tiny envelopes that contain the side reminder tabs that I need for my daily planner pages. I need these every day. And I made these tiny envelopes out of just paper. I think this is 100 GSM. And these are four envelopes that are sized to fit into the discs in a single row. I also have here some functional stickers that I made and that I also use on my daily planner pages, although some of these are already outdated. And I will sort through all of these later. I also have here some sticky notes that I ended up not using at all. And I don't even know why these are back here. I don't need these anymore. These used to be my Kanban boards and I have some videos about my Kanban boards which I will link down below. But then I realized that my brain does not play well with Kanban boards so I ended up using a different method. There are some more dividers on here and at the very back are some of my future half sheets for the 24 hour time tracking. These should go with my daily planner pages. They are part of my daily planner pages, but because these are for tracking, not for planning, I put them back here sometimes temporarily when I do not have space on the disks for them on my planner planner. I just place them on there as I free up more space on the disks by archiving old daily pages as the weeks go by. Now today in this video, I want to make better and sturdier envelopes for my side reminder tabs because these ones are so battered and torn. Now I have been using them for over a year. They still work. They have not yet come apart completely but they deserve to be updated and then these old envelopes thrown away. And then later on I really want to dismantle this entire binder. As usual, I took the measurements and of course I will be using similar dimensions because I want there to be also four envelopes that will fit into the discs the same way as these ones. But because I want to laminate each envelope, I have to make an accommodation for the 5mm seal at the edge of the lamination. But the envelopes in their final state should have a total width of 95 millimeters, which is the width of all of my inserts. The final measurements that I decided on for the paper component was 7.5 centimeters width, 5.2 centimeters height, and the flap has to be 3 centimeters. I'm using this 160 GSM Vivania Splendor Gel Paper to make the envelopes and I first cut it down to be 7.5 centimeters wide and then I made the mark for the 5.2 centimeters, scored the line using my book binding all and then made another mark at 5.2 centimeters, scored that as well and then measured the flap at 3 centimeters and then cut off the excess paper completely. And then I made the fold at the score lines and then I trimmed off a tiny sliver off uh, one of the edges because I did not want that to bump into the fold for the flap. So here it is and we can now laminate this. The trick to laminating this into an envelope is to first laminate the flap separately. I'm going to use some more of my scraps of unused laminating sheets and sandwich the flap between the uh, laminating pouch and insert the project into the laminating machine with the flap folded down to make sure that the finished project would indeed fold down on the flap. And then I cut off the excess lamination entirely. Next we will laminate the rest of the envelope. I will be needing excess lamination here, not just for the seal but also for the place where I can punch the holes in. So I just made sure that I cut it 
the I cut the lamination wide enough. And then I sandwiched the paper into the lamination pouch and then once again inserted the project into the machine with a flap folded again to make sure that the plastic won't be too high to prevent the flap from folding once the lamination it, it is done. At first it came out slightly cloudy but I fed it through the machine again and it came out clear this time. Now I cut off the excess lamination at the bottom completely but left a 5mm seal at the right side and then as for the left side, I cut off the excess at the 95mm mark to make the final envelope 95mm in width like this. Now the envelope is a little stiff but that was my intention to make it really sturdy. Because when I use this, I do not plan to fish through the contents of the envelope inside using my finger. Instead, I intend to dump the contents onto the table and take what I need and then put the rest back into the envelope. I need to be careful that I don't rip the crease of the flap because that is just paper. Even if it's 160 GSM paper, it can still rip. I went ahead and made a total of eight of these tiny laminated envelopes and here they are all laminated and ready to be hole punched. I was finally able to dismantle this supplemental binder <laughs> and to be honest I never really liked this binder. It fulfilled its purpose although the purpose was rather sketchy because this turned out to be a crutch for me. I mean, instead of making the effort to utilize my existing planners, I made this one just to be able to dump stuff on it that really should be on my actual planners. I did not want to think anymore, so I made this just to make things easy for me. But every time I had to use this, it annoyed me every single time. So I have to admit, it gives me great satisfaction to finally be able <laughs> to dismantle this binder. Now the contents from here that I actually need are just the side reminder tabs and the functional stickers. These are the green stickers that you can see and the 24 hour time tracking sheets. They should go into my planner planner because I use them every day. And I even already made dividers for the side tabs and the stickers. All of these four envelopes should go on the discs the same way like this. This will make the discs here really really tight and I will deal with the discs later on but for now it is time to do the hole punching. And of course it is quite satisfying to put these rather brassy not very pretty metal gold discs back into storage. Once again we need a template for the hole punching of the laminated things as per usual and I have here some pieces of paper that I hole punched using the happy planner punch and I used binder clips to attach the template to the envelopes making sure that each envelope is aligned to be where they should go very very carefully. Each envelope will have two holes and then I just used my trusty single hole punch and a pair of scissors to make the disc bound holes. And now we can finally try out all four envelopes on the discs. This is my planner planner which I use every single day and these envelopes should all go behind the divider for the side tabs and it came out very very nice. Everything is aligned. Now I have four more of these tiny laminated envelopes that I will be, I will be using to store my functional stickers which will go into the section that I made for stickers right here. I hole punched these four the same way and now I have tiny laminated envelopes for my functional stickers. And by the way, you might have noticed that these dividers on my planner planner are not really aligned and that is because they are configured still according to the dividers that are already on my catch-all planner. These two planners are part of a single planning system so all of the dividers should fall into place even when the volumes are separate. In my catch-all planner, all dividers have tabs that cascade into sets of six tabs and the final set of six tabs on my catch-all planner towards the back correspond to the other tabs that are on my planner planner. There are two blank slots on the catch-all and these correspond to the side tabs and notebook orders tabs on my planner planner right here. 
As for the tabs for extra paper and um, stickers, they are actually part of the next set of six tabs, but only two of them exist for now. I hope that makes sense. And I did that very intentionally because, just in case, there magically exists three inch metal rainbow discs from the Happy Planner, I can put all of these together into a single super fat, super chunky planner volume and all of the tabs will fall into the proper cascade that I want. That is the dream. Three inch metal rainbow discs from <laughs> the Happy Planner. <laughs> Okay, now I need to sort through all of my side reminder tabs because there are some tabs in here that I no longer need and there are also one or two that I have run out of and which I need to make more of. Now these side reminder tabs have been part of my planning system for many many years starting from way back when I was still on the ring bound system. I was using a salmon pink compact sized Franklin Covey leather binder with 1.5 inch rings. The binder was a gift from Deborah. I have videos of that binder which I will link down below and also my very first video of these side reminder tabs. These tabs are basically to remind me that something about my day would be out of the ordinary. That's why these tabs should be adhered to the daily pages as needed and the reason why they should stick out. These tabs pertain to tasks that are not part of my daily routine, but which I need to focus on on that specific day, like when I need to place funds in my card for an incoming bill, or when I need to run errands, which is not every day. Also when I have to mail out notebooks and so on and so forth. Tasks that need attention on a specific day. My videos that are specifically about these tabs will explain the concept and execution better, so if you're interested, I suggest you go watch them. And it took a while, but after all of the sorting, I decided where the tabs would go because there are four envelopes. I wanted the tabs to be distributed fairly evenly across the four envelopes so that all of the four envelopes will end up more or less with equal bulk. And then I just used one of my glue pens to adhere one tab cut out to the front envelopes just like the envelopes I had before so I would know which tab is in which envelope. I have a review of these glue pens on my channel which I will link in the description box. And now that is done! Now all of the side reminder tabs that I need are in my planner planner in their own section because like I said, I do need them every day. So I put them on here as you can see. Now I did accidentally rip one of the envelopes here so I patched that up with a piece of clear tape. That's okay as I go along using these every day, I will have a better idea of how they will hold up over time. For now, my side tabs, my, my side reminder tabs are done and now I can move on to the section for the functional stickers. Mostly these are for bills to do for my subscription services. I have only really three. I have YouTube Premium which I need because I'm on it a lot because I'm also a YouTuber and I need to be abreast of what my community is up to. And I also watch academic lectures and documentaries on YouTube in connection with my ongoing thesis. So it's just more convenient to have YouTube Premium for continuous watching without any distractions to my stream of thought. The other bill I have is for my Google Drive, which I use for storage and for sharing. And then the third subscription is Netflix, just for me. I do have Spotify, but I am on my sister's family account, so I don't pay the subscription for that. I just cut these down to sizes that can fit inside the envelope. The second envelope will be for stickers for payments that I have to make for short-term loans that are ongoing. I have them already and I have been using them, but I will put them inside here later. And the third envelope can be stickers for productivity, such as when I have a writing goal that I need to work on for a few days or a few weeks, or a short-term but recurring online class, things like that. And the fourth envelope can be empty just in case I need it for a different category of functional stickers. And by the way, like I said, I make my own functional stickers and I do have a video about them which I will link down below. 
Now the rest of these stickers are also outdated and these stickers pertaining to writing my first novel is no longer needed. I have finished writing that novel last August and I even have a vlog series about the process. I will link the playlist down below. So I can now throw out these stickers with great satisfaction. <laughs> these red stickers are for working on my thesis and I will transfer them to the section for my university that is inside my catch-all planner. And all the rest of the stickers I can keep for future use. I will make the final sorting off camera. And now to deal with the discs, I believe the 1.5 inch discs will be a better fit for this now chunkier planner planner. And I have some of them here. 1.5 inches is 38 millimeters. And by the way, I do have a video about how I organize and store all of my discs, which I will link down below. I don't have enough discs of the same color, but I am fine with doing a gradient look using the black discs, the rose gold, and one silver disc. And th this really is the end of this entire process pertaining to my tiny envelopes for my side reminder tabs and my functional stickers. This is now my planner planner on the uh, 1.5 inch discs or the 38 millimeter discs. Here is the section for the stickers and here is the section for the side reminder tabs. And I've also put in these loose half sheets for the 24 hour time tracking on the daily pages where they should have gone in the first place had I enough space on the discs. And now I have enough space on the discs. I really like how these turned out. I like that the color of the divider behind the envelopes can be seen through the clear lamination. It adds color to the setup, which is my general aesthetic goal for my 2023 setup, color. And then these envelopes are more sturdy indeed, which was my goal. And then they are now in my planner planner, which was also my goal. Now, I don't want to make this process of setting up my planning system for 2023 too long. I just have two more videos in this series coming up, and then I will make the executive decision to declare the setup finished and then move on. I can tweak as I go along, which is what I always do anyway. So please watch for these two videos that are coming up. My playlist for the series will also be linked down below so you can watch the previous videos as well. And please also subscribe to my channel if you like my content. I have been making planner related um, content on YouTube since 2013. So there are a lot of videos here that you might find helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.